What's up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Monday night. And it's a tired Monday night, folks, because I was doing a little bachelor party action over the weekend. Um, had a great old time, but couldn't uh, couldn't muster the strength to do a species Sunday because A, I was hungover, and B, it was Mother's Day. And coming home hungover on Mother's Day isn't exactly the best way to get points with the missus. Who's taking good care of your two kids while you're gone? So here's what's going on. I want to talk today about UV sterilizers. Um, and I, I'm surprised, you know, I was thinking about this. I don't think I've ever actually done a video about UV sterilizers. So I want to talk about it. I'm surprised I haven't ever talked about it. Um, and I haven't talked about it because I don't use them. So here's what's up. People have been asking me, like, yo, D, do I need to use a UV sterilizer? Should I get one? Blah, 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 blah. And my answer for a planted tank would be no. Um, and the simple reason is this, if you have your tank balanced, you really don't need one. Now look, they're beneficial. Um, a UV sterilizer, in a very, very simple word, way, uses, uh, ultra, in a simple explanation, ultraviolet uh, sterilizer, UV sterilizer, uses ultraviolet lighting to kill like pathogens um, and just bad stuff that lives in your water. I don't know if it exactly kills, um, I, don't, I don't know specifically like what all it kills. I know it can kill ick. Uh, I don't know if it can kill bacteria or not, but basically it kills a lot of the bad stuff uh, in your water, algae. Um, it can help kill green water if you guys are running high-tech tanks and you get some green water. Um, it's definitely helpful there. Um, the trick with the UV sterilizer is to run them in a really, 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 really slow water flow. That's uh, counterintuitive to a lot of stuff, but really, really slow water flow. And the reason you do that is it has more contact time uh, with the ultraviolet light. And you'll see like some big pet shops have uh, Shea Smudge stuff, UV uh, sterilizers um, in their uh, main like display tanks where they've got like a bajillion different fish in there. And uh, it seems to work well. By the way, check out these crypts. I've been leaving them alone. They're just kind of coming along on their own in the dirt, kind of sandy mess. But uh, I'm loving that. So yeah, I don't run UV sterilizers. I don't think it's totally necessary. If you've got one, great, keep using it. But um, it, they're just not really my thing. Um, I try to run my tanks pretty low tech. Uh, I did have a UV sterilizer on my pond for a minute, only because I got the UV sterilizer for like 12 bucks. And I was like, well, why not? We'll use this. So, uh, And it did help a little bit with the, uh, I, I don't know, I, I had a little bit of an algae problem, but not bad. So I'm um, showing this tank. It just got decimated because I had a bunch of plant orders. But I did about a 80% water change on it. And I added this airstone, and ever since I've added the airstone, the quarry cats have been out. So surprise, surprise, some of you longtime subscribers know I had a trouble getting the quarry cats uh, out and about. Well, I did a massive water change, um, and my boy Brian was over here helping me with the plants. He said that he thinks the quarries are spawning, so I'm just going to show you how they're acting. They won't leave each other's side, and they're kind of like bumping their privates. Um, I've never really like fully witnessed them spawning, but he claims they're spawning because they're so... Uh, like just tightly following each other, which makes sense because I slammed them with cold water, which was some advice I got uh, from somebody who breeds quarry cats. If anybody's bred quarry cats, I believe you just gotta slam them with a big water chain and some colder water to emulate the raining season. But um, back to the point of the video, yeah. Um, I don't really necessarily think you need a UV sterilizer. I personally don't use them, haven't used them in probably six, eight years, um, and don't intend on using them. But uh, they do make a couple of cool varieties. They make the twist on types. They make uh, these little like, like hang on ones that kind of like sit on the back of your tank, those are kind of dope. But um, for the most part, yeah, you don't really need a UV sterilizer. Um, same thing with uh, RO unit, you don't need an RO unit for a planted tank. RO unit actually removes some of the metals that your plants actually would like use. So um, it actually removes some of the stuff you would actually want in your tank, or in your, uh, yeah, in your tank. So, I don't know, that's uh, that's what's going on. So, yep, uh, yeah, you don't need a UV sterilizer. Um, the airstone helps me get the duckweed over to the side, which is kind of tight. And yeah, I'm going on vacation in a couple of days, so appreciate all the support. Thanks for everybody saying, yo, take a break. And uh, I feel the pressure, man. I, I got a pressure to keep making videos. Oh, uh, also a big shout out to Vitaly uh, over in Kiev, Ukraine. Um, I think his name is pronounced Vitaly Levitt. The dude made a, a pretty dope uh, banner. He made the banner that you see now for uh, Aquatic Jungles on my main channel. So I definitely want to give him a shout out for that. So, um, yeah, welcome to subscribers. Appreciate everybody's orders. And um, no more shipping plants from now until a little after Memorial Day. Taking a little breather, having some fun. So that's what's up. Later.